Remembering the fall of Afghanistan after a nation's struggle and resilience. It's more than two years since the fall of Afghanistan on 15th August 2021. This date holds significant importance as it was the day when the Taliban gained complete control over Afghanistan. The memories of that day are aged in our minds and we are reminded of the struggles and challenges that are followed. As millions of people found themselves far from their homes, the curious sense in Afghanistan continued to hand as evoking a sense of fear and ease. After the fall of Afghanistan, many of us who were thousands of miles away from our homeland witnessed the sudden events and flowed from afar. We are so privileged in Australia. We can be the voice. We can't be the face of the people of Afghanistan because they don't have this privilege. Because we have the privilege, we are standing here together, we've gathered here tonight to represent the people of Afghanistan, that you're not forgotten people. We are here to commemorate the fall of Afghanistan that happened a few years ago. We are here to reflect what happened the past, in the past two years. We are here tonight to raise this awareness that we, you guys are not forgotten people. We are here to keep reminding ourselves why we are standing over here right now. What makes us so different from the people of Afghanistan? We're not any different. The only difference is we have the privilege to stand here and give this speech. That's what we want. That's what we want for our future generation, to be the voices of invoices, to be the faces of infaces people who doesn't have this privilege to convey the message, who doesn't have the confidence to stand up and say something about their people. The sense of chaos, confusion and fear in Afghanistan deeply affected us, leaving a lasting impact in our memories. These memories still evoke a strong emotional response causing us to live in the terror of those days. Following the Taliban's takeover, there were concerning developments regarding the rights of women. The Taliban's rule led to a ban on women's education, work, and participation in society. These restrictions have had a significant impact on the lives of Afghan women, limiting their opportunities and potential. The suppression of women's rights has been a cause of worry and has drawn global attention to the plight of Afghan women and the Taliban's role. Despite the challenges posed by the Taliban's role, there are individuals and communities that refuse to be silent. In Adelaide, Australia, we stand in solidarity with the people of Afghanistan. We are committed to defy the oppressive role by working diligently to provide education and lifetime opportunities. Regardless of gender, we believe in empowering the Afghan people to actively continue to society and pursue their dreams. It was really an emotional moment for me and when I heard people saying, hey, Kabul has fallen, this happened, that happened. For people it's just like a story, it's just like another story. For me and you, we can feel them and I totally relate in it, totally agree with Medina that we owe this to the country, to the people back home. And we need to speak up, we need to use every opportunity that we get to raise our voices because those people there, they don't have those voices. They have us to speak on their behalf and we will to our last breath. So we don't get a freedom for them or at least basic rights for them. 
on 15 August 2021, really the world surrounded 40 million Afghan citizens to an organization that waste majority of the leaders are recognized as terrorist organization or people or individual under international law. Since then, the whole Afghan population were taken as hostage by this group, particularly women, children, minority groups, minority in terms of religious, language, ethnicity, and they made Afghanistan as a bigger jail for 40 million people of Afghanistan. Since then, day by day, the humanitarian situation of Afghan national became worse and worse day by day. One day, Russia in 1979 occupied Afghanistan and people were started fighting with them. And then 10, days, 10 years later, they withdraw from Afghanistan and then the Western country occupied the country and under the slogan of freedom, human rights and democracy. But unfortunately in 2021 they left Afghanistan defenseless and they surrounded the Afghan citizen to a very barbaric organization called Taliban and their allies. We learned from Afghanistan that every citizen of Afghanistan are experiencing pain, sorrow, and defeat. Unfortunately, we never had a good day. Even Pashtun members of Afghanistan, there are only a few individuals, a few political leaders, they played with all of us. All Afghans, including Pashtuns, Tajik, Hazaras, Uzbeks and many others. The fall of Afghanistan by Taliban told us again that we have to come back and sit together. No one from outsiders would help us. Sisters and brothers, we are here today to cry for people of Afghanistan, regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of their religions. Humanity is a humanity. Pain is pain, hungry is hungry, lust is lust. Regardless if they are Hazaras or Pashtun or Uzbek or Tajik, at this stage, everyone is in Afghanistan are suffering. The USA and the leadership of Zulmay Khalilzad signed with the Taliban. Today, we have to have, remember that event. And we should trust ourselves. I can recall a message from John Howard, the former Prime Minister of Australia, when Australia attended with USA and UK in Iraq, they said, we are not the nation of cut and run. We are the nation we will stay and build. But on 15 August 2021, approved that politics always is a cut and run, regardless who they are. They came in a country under the name of az azadi or freedom, under the name of human rights, but they cut and run and left us defenseless, left us victims and hostages of terrorists such as Taliban. What they did from Abdurrahman King until this moment, all they did is a bloodshed. All they did is an enmity. All they did is a problem. But the, the current generation, the younger generation, must change the dialogue, they must change the direction, and they have to establish a new direction for the peace, humanity, somewhere that we could live there. We are now every corner of the world, every corner of the world, and I, I think we have to stop this. Instead of begging, to other country to accept our nation as asylum seekers or as a refugee, we should beg to our people to build our country, to build our society.
as we remember the events of 15th August 2021, we hold on a vision of a better future for Afghanistan. We dream of a day when the country is free from oppression and its people can live in dignity with access to education, work, and equal opportunities. The fall of Afghanistan was one big tragedy and drama that happened in front of our eyes. But as a political analyst, as a person from Mali Doha, we knew what's going to happen. We raised our voice for that. We raised our concerns. Human rights uh, defenders, women rights defenders, the minority leaders, they all outcried. How come America sit on a negotiating table with a group of terrorists? For them, suicide attack is legitimate, killing innocent people for their political agenda is legitimate, how come America sit with them? Totally overlooking democratic Afghanistan government that undermined the government. We knew what's going to happen. But, the, but the, in June and July, in these months, in 2021, only we know what happened to us. What was the trauma we were going through? The nights and day. We had sleepless nights. Yes, we are marking the second year. The 760 days, it, it went so quickly. But we still suffer from that. How long we can go to accept a terrorist group as a government? What the fact is that for 40 years, the world hasn't learned this lesson that the problems in Afghanistan do not contain in Afghanistan. It erupts from there, terrorists. Did we forget Ayman al-Zawahiri was killed in Kabul? It was after the fall of Kabul. He was living under the noses of Taliban. Their ties with Daesh, their ties with Al-Qaeda, our hopes is unwavering and we continue to work towards creating a positive change for the people of Afghanistan. The fall of Afghanistan on 15th August 2021 remains a poignant memory for us all. The struggles, resilience and challenges faced by the Afghan people have left a profound impact on our hearts. As we look ahead, we stand united in our efforts to provide education, empowerment, and a brighter future for Afghanistan regardless of the obstacle we may encounter. I'm saying that uh, thank you very much for coming along uh, to this cold evening, dedicating your time and raising voice. As someone said, uh, our friends for the voiceless. Uh, yes, we have lost Afghanistan, but we haven't lost our hope. Uh, as Mr. Rezaid says, our hope is younger generation. This is the time we need more unity than before. This is the time we need more resilience than before. And um, of course, we have uh, our younger generation so much talent here. Uh, we will resist, we will raise voice. We will be here next year. That is the promise. Thank you for your attention and support.